All right, folks, I got a mini toy haul for you guys. Uh, local toy convention just finished. The biggest toy convention here in Manila. ToyCon uh, Philippines 2015 just finished over the weekend. I picked up a couple of stuff that I've been looking for for the longest time. Got a small haul for you today. Action figures, um, Transformers, June 24th, 2015. Let's get right to it. Been trying to complete my uh, Justice League, my cartoon, my original. I'm a big fan of the original animated cartoon Justice League back in the 2001-2002 era. I've been trying to fi finish them off. The last two pieces of my Justice League is Jon Stewart and Shaira, and I'm just so glad I got them at decent prices at ToyCon. The Justice League is down. All I need to do now is complete uh, my lanterns. Just missing Larflees, and I'm done with DC. Um, probably just focus on the female heroes, and that's it. I'm done with DC. All right, thank you. All right, some Transformers. Uh, a friend of mine went to a local Chinatown, and he picked up a knockoff of a particular set that I wasn't really inter interested in. I don't really buy a lot of knockoffs because they're poor plastic. But for $25, this is the KO for Hercules. And I thought it was pretty something-something interesting. Yeah, it's probably got crappy plastic loose joints here and there, but you get to have a Hercules on display on your shelf for 25 bucks. Not too bad. Should I review this guy? Hmm, you let me know. It's a KO. I don't really do a lot of KO reviews, but we'll see. All my Transformers fans out there, let me know. A friend of mine, Luis, uh, is a great Marvel fan. He watches all my Marvel videos. Went to Singapore with the family, goes to the same school Alex goes to where I went. He picked up something for me because he knew I was a big Transformers fan. Got me a Universal Studios Singapore figure carabiner Optimus Prime. Fantastic details on this one. Absolutely amazing. I probably won't take it out of packaging. Thank you very much, Louise. You the man. All right, more Transformers. A figure that I thought I would never pick up, then it hit me. You gotta have this figure. I, I, my wife and I were first shopping for Transformers back in 2007, and one particular character called Bone Crusher. She thought the green version was cuter and not the beige, so I decided to pick the green over the beige. And I realized I'm an idiot. <laughs> I should have picked up the beige because it's the movie accurate figure. Um, no complaints about my wife i mean the green one was great um i ended up selling it and looking for this one instead because this one is the movie accurate one i could not find a single card one this one was from a two-pack the highway brawl two packs it's an exclusive two-pack something like that uh it's got some and it actually is better than the original one because it has premium paint uh, paint apps and it came with that optimus prime luckily for me my good buddy joshua I uh, needed an Optimus Prime, and I needed this guy, so he's kind enough to split the set with me. Good on you, Josh. <laughs> yeah, and finally have a bone crusher. Good job. All right, something from our choice. Haven't picked up anything from them lately in the last few weeks, uh, but uh, they came out with a set. Uh, a little bit pricey, but I didn't care. The Quickslinger and Breakneck, a.k.a. Slingshot and Wild Rider for the Combiner War series of Superior and Minasaur. They had them as a set, uh, like 20 bucks. Yeah, 22 no, 20, 24, $24 each. I didn't care. It was pretty, pretty awesome. And I actually didn't pay anything for them. I had a, I was selling a bunch of old G.I. Joes, 1980s vintage Joes that have broken pieces, a, a, a tub of weapons. And uh, the owner of our toy said, hey, why don't I just get the weapons and I give you these two for trade? And I'm like, yeah. So very, very awesome. Um, that saved me a lot of money. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robert, for the awesome deal. All right. Uh, Masters of the Universe. Still getting a few more items. Um, Scorpia. Got a good deal for this one. Thanks. And San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2014 Filmation Hordak. This one I was really targeting. Uh, I did, want, did not want to leave ToyCon without this one. This was awesome. Uh, I got it for a good deal. It's an exclusive. Very, very awesome. Finally happy to have those two down. Just need Evil Lynn 
maybe Madam Raz and Trap Jaw, then I'm done for Masters of Angry Oh, Battle Lion. So, really, really awesome. All right, last set of figures I'm going to show you guys is something I got at my favorite action figure store down out at Green Hills. If you collect Marvel and Star Wars and G.I. Joe's here in Manila, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Kramer, Toy Warden. They got this set early. This is the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wave 3 Spider-Man Marvel Legends figures, the Rhino Wave. And now we have... I picked up the entire set at a very decent price, well below retail price. I got Torso, which has two figures, um, Misty Knight and uh, White Tiger. Surprisingly, they're not the variants. Um, she's a single card, and Misty Knight is the variant of this guy, Ghost Rider who has the leg, which I don't get why they did that. Anyway, they, they split it up, but I didn't really care. Uh, just, they're all awesome characters. I'm not too crazy about this guy, but the figure amazingly looks good. Scarlet Spider, got two heads of the rhino. Awesome, awesome sculpt. We got the Chameleon, which has the head of J. Jonah Jameson and Hammerhead. Collectors are going to be after this. They're going to army, not army build, but they're going to be wanting this one because you get three figures. You need, just change the heads. You get three figures. So, sure, this will be very hard to find. Another awesome, awesome figure from this wave is Craven. Oh, man, this figure is so badass. Cannot wait to review that. And lastly, lastly, which is, I think, in my opinion, the best one looking to be the best one in the entire wave is the Doc Ock Peter Parker in superior no, I'm not saying inferior superior Spider-Man oh my god look at that uh. <laughs> game over this thing is just amazing detail on it cannot wait to crack it up there you go, folks. Uh, my mini toy haul for June 24th, 2015. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.